It's John here from Stuff at Let's Go around Australia. We're not doing that at the moment, but what has arrived is the third diesel heater that I'm about to install. I did do a video on how to actually install the diesel heater, but it didn't really give you much information. It was just pretty much me having to go up putting in a heater. So I'm going to try to make this one a lot better for you, show you the bits, how I actually put it together, where I feed things through, and what makes it easy. <clears throat> having done this twice now, the third one's going to be really easy. I know what I'm doing. And um, I'll just show you a few of the things in the box. So this is what you get with your Chinese diesel heater. <coughs> You've got your heater unit itself. Main power goes to that. You've got cords that go to your main power to your 12 volt battery. Also goes up to your fuel pump underneath and also to your control unit. <coughs> You also get remote control that I've showed you before. Works from the bed, from the dining room, anywhere in the van really. This is your fuel pump that's going to attach under the van, which will go through this rubber, which helps to stop a bit of the noise against the van, because it does make a bit of a clicking noise, but we'll, we're going to try to put this in a place that's not going to annoy us. <coughs> this plate, nowhere in the book, does it talk about this plate anywhere? But this is very important, this piece of plate. What you need to do is you need a hole that is that circumference. So pretty much where that point is to that point, <coughs> that's the diameter of the hole that you are going to put through the floor, which I'm pretty sure is about 100 mil. So I've actually gone out and bought myself <coughs> some hole bits to make this a lot easier than having to get the jigsaw out and put it underneath. Getting a jigsaw in under squeezy places isn't that hard and it will make a much neater job. <coughs> so this will then go over that hole that you create. You screw it down in those four holes on the edge and then the unit underneath, you'll see all of this, this then just goes through all the preformed holes in this plate so we'll get to that but I don't understand why in the instructions for this not anywhere does it talk about that plate and it's probably one of the most important bits that comes with your unit <coughs> so we said that's to go with our fuel pump a couple of things so these are to help mount your exhaust and air intake under the van so this one here is your air intake and this here is the filter that goes on the end of the air intake under your van this one here <coughs> is your exhaust you can bend this any which way you want okay and then on that you also have a little muffler that's going to slide through there in there and you'll clamp that in place this this clamps this here clamps up under your unit and so does your air intake. Make sure you put them in the right way. You don't want your air intake coming out where your exhaust should be and vice versa. <coughs> you get a T intersection, throw that out. I'm not going to use it anyway. You get two of these. Now, you're meant to be able to pipe this onto the end here, right? Which is your intake. So on the end there, on the intake of the thing. As you can see, this does not work and does not fit. Even if you take this off, this is actually screwed on in place. So even if you did that, you've got nothing holding down this top plate then. So you know what? Another thing to throw away. You don't need it. <clears throat> then what I do, or I'm going to do, I will keep this one. This one is gonna go off of our air outtake and we'll attach to one of these vents okay which slides just in there all right so we're going to keep that here is your fuel filter that goes in line from your diesel um, tank to your heater 
these are the two small clamps that they give you with this so let's have a think about this two clamps we've got one that needs to be clamped to the unit we then have another one that needs to be clamped to the muffler then we have another one that needs to be clamped to the unit and that other end needs to be clamped to your air filter so luckily they've given us two to do the job of four luckily i realize they don't give you enough so i've gone to bunnings and i've just bought myself some extras of these um, that will work i don't know if you can see that but that is the size you're going to want there might be a little bigger but that's fine so food for thought this here this is what connects so when you're connecting your fuel line to say the fuel filter the unit the fuel pump either end right and your line your fuel line so every time you've got a join that's going to go from an item to this fuel line you need a bit of this pipe okay so you cut this up into what is it one two three four five six so you need six pieces cut out of that so pretty much i'm just going to cut six even pieces out of that piece of pipe at the start wherever you join that piece of pipe to the fuel line or to any item you've got these little clamps here there is enough to do the job <laughs> thankfully much easier get a pair of pliers to squeeze them together as you're putting them over and clamp things in they give you four of the large rings because i don't see what the purpose of or how you put on the hose or the the duct to the intake i don't use two of them so they can go in my rubbish pile over here which will go in my car as spare parts anyway this well once again nothing in the book i'm guessing it can be used as your fuel to like you you maybe bend it out and it sits from one end to the bottom there but another thing just throw away you don't need it then your fuel tank we've talked about this before in here there is this piece here has an, a little ring on it and then you've also got a nut and bolt uh, washer in there that is not actually already done so we are going to drill a little hole no bigger than the diameter of the thread on that piece okay no bigger than that and then we have to get it from the top in there and through the hole that we create with a rubber ring on one side the rubber seal and also a rubber ring on the other side with the washer and nut so as i'm doing that i'll show you what to do so i'm going to get some tools you're going to need a drill um, with hole saw bits preferably if you don't have that then you're just going to have to use a 100 mil um, template and jigsaw it out but follow what i'm doing on this one and i guarantee you like a set of the whole um hole saw bits or hole saw kit that i got from bunnings is I think it was like $20 with the larger ones in it. So it's definitely worth the 20 bucks. So I'll get some tools together and I'll be back to see you soon. So I'm going to put the heater down in here. Now I've already cut a hole. So down in here, I've cut my hole, which actually was, let's have a look. A hundred and two mil to one hundred and twenty-seven. So just check that, but you just want it. So make sure that you get in under your van and pre-drill a hole up from underneath, or even from 
inside and then have a look to make sure nothing's going to be in your way when you drill through because you don't want to be drilling this hole and then figure out that there's actually a bit of chassis underneath of you and you've got to redo it and then try to plug up the hole so this plate as we said before is just going to go over that just make sure that you can't see any wood so you might be asking what is this for here well that's where your wire goes down underneath the van if you need to get to your 12 volt or to the wire that goes to your fuel pump also goes in that little bit so you can still get all the rest down okay now i'm gonna drill a hole just in here that will be for the air intake i'm not putting a pipe on it because the pump will actually take from the least resistance anyway so i'm just going to do that and i'll show you where that is that is going to be down right down in that corner as close as i can get to the wheel arch so it's not too much in the way and once i've so i've got a whole saw bit on there and this will be what goes in there and what i'll do is i'll just screw so you can just pop the actual vent off and you can screw it back to the wood okay so i've just taken that off so you can see so, uh, dropped it so as you can see once i put that in i can just screw it off in those three places so it's not going to pop out and then you just push that back on okay can i do that now so just put my vent in there and that just comes through to sorry peoples <laughs> that side there just so we can get some air in to our heater all right i'm going to screw that plate down now and then we'll get the the actual heater ready to be put in okay you're on so this is your wiring i fitted off that plate down there now this is going to attach to your actual heater unit then because i'm going to have to go to the back of the van to get my power i'm going to run this red cord which is your positive and this black cord underneath the van as well and i'll have to um extend the well at least extend the the negative and then you've got um what have we got so this one here you need to keep in your van so that one's going to go up to your um, control unit okay so keep that one in your van at the top side and then this one here is going to go into your um, fuel filter so it has a little clip pin don't forget to take that out when you put it in and then clip it back in um, once you've fixed it so we're going to just feed that down in there keeping that one everything feeding that down through the hole with that little that little oh, we'll say dick looking thing really and then I'll push that down in there uh, which else that's the fuel pump one that needs to go down in there well, you might as well put it all down there and whatever you don't use, just um, neaten up with some cable ties, whatever you can. Sorry, it's just... That's the one we're keeping out. I'm going to keep the other one too. I put the earth down there too now and then we can put our actual unit in place which is good so i'll grab that unit I stopped it no i didn't so i got that unit what we're going to do obviously these holes need to match up with what is in that plate and i've moved all those wires out the way Just trying to find this. So that's it 
there. So that's in place. Underneath, we're going to screw on some bolts that holds this nice and steady. And it also seals off those holes. I'm going to plug this together while I've got access to it. Everything. Why can't they put, make things easier, eh? Everything's hard to get to. But that's all plugged in, ready to go. And now, what we're going to do with this, this is to your control unit. I'm going to feed that probably back through up here um, and mount it on the wall just here, I reckon. So it's easy to get to anywhere and your remote control will work all through the van. So we'll do that next. So we've run that wire up now and we've fixed off the control unit just up there. Now, I've come through the corner of the, the lounge there because I didn't want anything in the way of that or the little cupboard on the other side. I'll fix that up with some sort of grommet or something to make that nice and neat later. I just don't have that because we're actually on the road just doing an overnight stop. So, doing what we can with what we got. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is actually fix off the actual unit underneath. So, there are four screws. So if we come over here, there is four of them, or bolts, nuts, and they just screw up underneath, and they've already got that locking on them, so just a matter of doing that. Once I've screwed that in place, I'm then going to put the internal vent in, and we'll go from there. Okay, so everything inside is pretty much done. So we've just put that outlet hose on obviously the outlet side and that just comes through here so it's going to intake most of its air from back there push it out here which will recirculate that warm air in the van which will heat it up a lot quicker and as we said before we've done our um, unit inside and I'll take you underneath and show you what we need to do down there right right so we're under the van here we've got those cords that we needed. Now, these are the, the nuts that I was talking about, just up there. Four of those to hold that unit down tight to your van. I'm going to give them just a little bit more because they felt a bit loose still. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to fix off our air intake to the side with the wires next to it okay and we're going to fix our exhaust on to this side closest to the front of the van so i'm going to go ahead and fix those off and also this bit here that's for your fuel line so i'll put a bit of fuel so you put that black pipe on first and then your other pipe just goes into the black pipe and you put the clamps on so i'll get that going we're running out of light unfortunately so but i am determined so I have heat in this van tonight because it's meant to be about minus one. All right, see how we go. I'm going to keep it running and show you what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see. So. so this one here, black one, just going on there. to just undo this one a tad or oh. this van's been lifted so it makes it a little bit easier if your van's a bit lower it can be a bit tight Maybe not. 
that really needs to be around the other way. So I'm going to take that off. I don't want that that way. So I can get to it a bit easier. Now, if I put that too close to the fuel line, I can a bit, turn it around, and tighten it up again. Tighten it up again. There we are. So that's not coming off now. Can I have a piece of black pipe with a, um, you wanna? just one of the pieces of black pipe with a clamp? Pieces with two clamps on it. Yep. And that. So I've got me already set up. Um, push that onto your fuel line intake. Shouldn't be this hard. I just can't find the hole. Enough said of that. Thanks, peeps. <laughs> Put that on and use your pliers. Open up those clamps. You want this pipe? Yep, and not just yet. Not just yet. I've still got the big exhaust on. Okay, so I've clamped that on. Actually, yeah, we'll put some on while we're here. And then, as I said, you've got this fuel line that just ducks up in your black pipe. Try to get as much in there as you can. You've got plenty. They give you a heat. So I'm just going to push that up in there. And then my pliers again. Like that. And just clamp that off there. Okay. The next thing we've got to do is put that exhaust on. So we've got the exhaust here. Gonna... As you can see, I've mounted my air intake with the filter on the end down that end and then we've got the exhaust coming out and that is pointing down on a slight angle not facing the front of the van and then we have so this is the wire to our fuel pump and this is our fuel line so I've got them going all the way around here all the way down and I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get some more light on it. So there's your fuel pump just tech screwed into place with that rubber, rubber um, surround. Hopefully that helps with a bit of the noise. Um, and then I've fed the fuel line down there. I will just hook up the, the actual well, sorry, I've gone blank. It's getting late now. Um, the fuel tank down at the front and hook that on. And for the, tonight, I'm probably just going to... Um, I'm probably just going to put the electrics onto a spare battery that we have in the car anyway because right. it's getting late and we just need it to work. So, I've said this before in my other videos. This is a real painful little job to do to get this little nipple a fuel tank through I do not understand why they don't just have one on the tank and send it out already done so you need to drill as I said that little hole that's no bigger than that um, nipple thread then you need to get it down in that corner and try to use something to go up in the hole and pull it down through and then screw it off and you've got a rubber ring on the inside and you've got a rubber ring on the outside just I don't know if you can see it just there between the nut and the tank and that just helps seal it so I still haven't figured out 100% where I'm putting the tank but we'll do that now so we've fitted off the the petrol tank here or diesel tank and it's just tech screwed in at the moment I will replace those with some bolts and lock um, 
what do you call them, lock washers on the so other side. I've finished doing the diesel heater. I've put in the wires and connected it all up. I'll just show you what I've done. Go in under the van again, come for a ride. Down. <coughs> Down. Oh. Under here. So what you'll see there is I've actually just earthed it to the caravan and then I've run the red cord, the positive, through to the back of the van and attach that to the positive on one of the batteries, okay? Now, something to be careful of, something I missed, I'd run all my wires and everything away from the exhaust, but I did melt one of the ones to the caravan, which was not great. It was running just above this here and I didn't realize it and it was touching the exhaust. Luckily, it wasn't anything too major. It was just the cord to the solar panel on the back of our van, or top of our van. So just be mindful of that. And if you do have wires going near your exhaust, just, just extend them or whatever you can do to get them out the way of your exhaust so they don't melt, okay? So come back up here. So hopefully this video is um, a lot better than the last one. The last one really didn't show you what to do in installing the diesel heater. This one I hope I've, I've gone through the steps a lot better, told you what's what in the kit that you get with the diesel heater. Um, so yeah, hopefully this helps you out. And if, if you want some heat in your van, all you need is a, a 12 volt setup, buy one of these little diesel heaters. They are fantastic, never be cold again. All right guys, till next time, Keep safe and we'll see you around the tracks.